What is good everybody? It is straight from my damn toys here back again with another video and today we do have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys and it is some pretty epic news. We got two Elite figure lines leaked. We have Elite Series 70 and Elite Series 71 as well as a Battle Pack Series and Basic Series 100. So let's go ahead and dive straight in guys. I guess we can start off with Elite Series 70. You guys can see here this was leaked. I cannot find the source. I, it's been passed around on Twitter and everywhere so many times that I cannot find the source, so I apologize, but Elite Series 70 right here is Seth Rollins, EC3, Johnny Gargano, Finn Balor, Dolph Ziggler, and a TBA. TBA means to be announced. We covered in another video, guys, that it could be Vince McMahon, a flashback series Vince McMahon from the 80s, I do believe, in like a light blue suit or whatever. That is what's on the rumor mill, rumor mill at the moment, but uh, taking a look at Elite Series 70, we knew that Seth Rollins was here in that shield gear. I that man I really do wish we were getting that that gear that he rocked after SummerSlam if you didn't give us the Thanos gear you could have at least given us the gear that he rocked after SummerSlam where it was the Thanos pants but he had the uh, the du the double black kick pads instead of giving us the gold boot if you wanted to avoid copyright I think they could have gotten away with that so I really don't like that Seth Rollins shield figure but the rest of the series will be EC3 Johnny Gargano Finn Balor and I'm guessing the Finn Balor is going to be the NXT demon one that we talked about the Jack the Ripper Demon Finn Balor is what I would guess would be this, but um, I don't know if this is going to be a new Finn Balor or if this is going to be that NXT Balor. Um, I, you know, you guys know I'm a big Finn Balor fan, so I would be fine with uh, getting two new Balors. You know, uh, this one being a main roster Balor, and then getting a, that NXT Balor in a different line. But anyways, uh, for now, I'm just gonna say it's that NXT Jack the Ripper Finn Balor. That's I think they're just waiting for Comic Con to reveal that because it's gonna be so nice, and hopefully that means we're getting the ripped up torso. That's just what I'm thinking in my head because all of these other figures have pretty much been shown at least prototype wise. So maybe they're waiting to show that final product, much like Dolph. Ziggler, maybe they, they had it, or maybe they had somebody get replaced or something. I feel like Dolph Ziggler wasn't always a part of Elite 70, so maybe they added him at the last moment. I'm not sure, but um, I, I'm very excited to see what this Dolph Ziggler could be. I do have a few attires here that I'll pull up for you guys to show you what I hope it is, and since it's the Chase variant, thank freaking God, because now we get two different new Zigglers. Thank God. That, that excites me to death. You guys know I'm a huge Dolph Ziggler fan, huge Finn Balor fan, so Getting these two new figures of these guys, or three new figures if you count the Chase variant of Dolph Ziggler. I'm very excited. Uh, hopefully it's one of these attires. I love the yellow, um, the yellow zebra stripes that he wore against Seth Rollins. I loved his uh, Royal Rumble attire from last year, not this past year, but 2018 was nice. You had the pink attire he rocked against Rollins, and then you have his Evil Knievel blue and orange inspired attire that he wore versus Rollins with Drew McIntyre. I'm guessing uh, one of the, uh, both of these Zigglers will come with the Intercontinental Championship is what I would guess. Maybe a jacket, accessory, or something. And hopefully we get a brand new head scan. I would love to see a new head scan for Ziggler with the True Effects technology. Should be really nice. And I hope that uh, they, they go in, all in on these figures. Maybe they won't give them the jacked AF arms. We'll have to see. But uh, I, I don't know if they'll change that. You know, you guys know how they do. But they did fix, uh, they did fix Kevin Owens with the jacked arms. So I guess we'll have to see play it by ear, see what the figure looks like. But I'm very excited to see what Dolph Ziggler looks like. And that Finn Balor, guys, I, I will make a deal with you. If they do release the Finn Balor, Jack the Ripper, NXT TakeOver London, if they release that with the, uh, the Daniel Bryan torso, I will upload a video of me crying in the corner. That will be, or it'll be a part of a video. If it's not its own video, it will be a part of a video. I promise you that, if that, if that is real. So we will see what happens at San Diego Comic-Con. San Diego Comic-Con is July 18th through the 21st, I think is what I read in uh, in July. So we're not too far out. We're a, we're a few weeks away, maybe three weeks away from San Diego Comic-Con. You guys know we're going to cover all of it here on the channel. We're going to look through the images. We're going to talk about them together, talk about all the epic figures. Uh, will I cry in the corner? I guess we'll have to find out given, uh, you know, the NXT TakeOver Balor, but let's move on to Elite Series 71. Elite Series 70 looks great, guys, and if they add a flashback, Vince McMahon, that'll be a pretty solid series there with, with the uh, the Gargano, the EC3, Balor, and Ziggler. I mean, that's that's fire right there. So, moving on to Elite Series 71, guys, we have Drew McIntyre, AJ Styles, who is the chase. So, two brand new AJ Styles figures in that set. Um, it'll be cool to see what attires we're getting. Adam Cole, John Cena, Jeff Hardy, and To Be Announced. And the To Be Announced figure, I don't think I have 
any you know stuff on the rumor mill at the moment as far as what that figure could be so I don't know what we could get here I don't remember any you know rumored lineups or anything but Drew McIntyre we did see that figure completed at WrestleMania Access it's going to be uh, very interesting to see if we uh, if they change the attire because I think it was the exact same NXT Target exclusive figure with a new head scan with the hair all in the face like Bret Hart you know how they always do Bret Hart guys you can see there on your screen maybe they'll change the attire you know Drew McIntyre he's one of those guys that never changes his gear like this man has worn the same gear ever since he returned to NXT um, a couple years ago or two and a half years ago whatever the time he returned can't really remember the exact date but I do believe it was like two and a half years ago he has he has literally changed maybe one color on his trunks but for that for the most part it's been the same you know the dual iron crosses on each side on the back you have that lion logo with McIntyre and it may change in color just just tweaks it like barely so if we do get a change in attire it won't be anything crazy uh maybe we can do like a fantasy attire maybe down the line or something just to change it up maybe do some white gear or something i'm not sure but there's drew mcintyre and then we have aj styles which is very interesting i i i cannot i i don't know what it could be all i can think is that at least one of them will be the lime green attire that he wore at the royal rumble uh, you guys know it's the the top talents AJ, but flip reverse. You guys know how he usually does that. If he wears one attire, like he'll wear black and yellow, and then he'll come out in yellow and black. So anytime he wears, he's never done that. But if he if he were to do, um, you guys know much like the green version, he did it with that with the top down. So I'm guessing we'll get the lime green version. I want to see a red AJ Styles. Uh, maybe they can do like a flashback variant. You guys know how they did with Shelton Benjamin, and I think they've done that with a few other guys with the Chase variants. I can't remember all the chase variants but um i know a lot of them are usually when they do the chase variant it's just a uh, different colorway like jeff hardy and then they did uh they they did mabel which was right around the same time they've done uh kevin owens was around the same time so i i can understand if they they go with a more current attire but maybe they can go uh with the lime green attire and then the chase variant could be like an older red attire that he wore when he first arrived in wwe or maybe wrestlemania 32 attire or something i really want to see um different attires like that i like to see i really want a red aj that's that's something we have never gotten is a red elite aj and we're way overdue for one i thought that we would have got one with elite series 51 or elite series 56 but they kept pumping out black and they kept coming out uh coming out with blue so i think we have like three or four black aj styles one two three uh i think it's four four black aj styles maybe five and that's that's pretty ridiculous so we do definitely need a red aj styles and then we have adam cole and we talked about this yesterday, which attires I hope it is. I hope it's War Games attire, but I wouldn't be upset with just the regular gray and yellow. But I would like to see that camo attire for Adam Cole. Then John Cena, we covered the same thing. Probably going to be the Super Showdown attire that he wore with the You Can't Stop Me shirt and all that good jazz. And then Jeff Hardy, we talked about this one as well. There's a lot of different attires that one could be. And this figure, I think, started out as a Survivor Series Elite and uh they changed that they ended up changing that so i guess it'll be a part of elite series 71 and again i'm very excited to see which which tire we're getting here for jeff hardy hopefully it comes with a world tag title maybe we'll get some dreads or something somebody told me that they thought it was from 2009 or something like that and that'd be fine with me i, I would be completely okay with a 2009 era jeff hardy any to be honest any any uh jeff hardy figure i'm good with uh, there literally wasn't a time uh, that he was in the company that uh, I, I was unhappy with, you know. So I will take any Jeff Hardy, whether it be current day, flashback. I would prefer flashback, obviously, but I'd take a current day Hardy again. It doesn't matter to me. They sell well, and they're, they're pretty rare. Even when, you know, he's in the company, we get figures all the time of him. His figures still go for uh, twice the price that they're worth uh, at retail. So that's pretty insane. But now that we have covered Elite Series 71, guys, let's get into this Battle Pack series. And this Battle Pack series is... Battle Pack Series 61, we have AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan, obviously, from the Royal Rumble. And I, this is what makes me think we're getting the Lime Green Tire. If we're getting AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan, that would be a Royal Rumble-esque Battle Pack, right? So I would think that uh, we would get a uh, an AJ Styles in elite form from that attire. So I think this is going to be a basic version of that attire uh, right here in Battle Pack 61. And then we'll get an elite of that. And then we have the Usos. 
And then I don't, I don't know what the Usos could be. Maybe the black shorts look. I really want elites of that, but you know it is what it is. And then we have the iconics, and the iconics. Uh, we, we saw like a render of these guys and they looked pretty good. I'm excited to see what they look like in final figure form. It'd be cool to see them get the tag team championships. I doubt they can stick them in a battle pack because you know we don't really get accessories with battle packs anymore. When's the last time we got accessories with battle packs? Pretty upsetting, but there is battle pack 61. The only images I have of those is the iconic, so I apologize for that. If any more images release, I will definitely get them up to you guys. But the last thing we're going to cover here today, guys, is Basic Series 100. Mattel's WWE Basic Series 100. They've come this far. It's pretty insane to think about. But we have The Undertaker, The Rock, John Cena, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Shawn Michaels. I think they wanted to go with some of the biggest names in the history of professional wrestling with this line. And I don't have an image of Stone Cold, but I'm sad to say that I think I saw an image a while back. I couldn't find it for the video, but it was pretty much the same Stone Cold Steve Austin head scan we've gotten so many times before. And they said with this series they wanted to go with a brand new head sculpt for all five guys. And I think everybody has a brand new head sculpt except Stone Cold. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. We've only had like two different Stone Cold head scans, maybe three, but uh, the only changes they've made is uh, the True Effects technology, and they really didn't change it that much. So I would like to see like a yelling face for Stone Cold, you know, like Jax did a long time ago. That figure looked phenomenal. Um, you can actually head swap it with a with an Elite figure, a Mattel Elite figure. I've done it. It's like the Deluxe Aggression Stone Cold Steve Austin, and it looks fantastic. So. Uh, I wish that Mattel would give us a screaming Austin head scan. I mean, he was yelling a lot of the time. Maybe a what head scan or something. I don't know. But uh, I, it's, I think it's pretty much the same head scan that's coming on that new Ghostbusters set. It's pretty much the same head scan as that coming out here in this Basic 100 series. But the rest of the head scans look great. I really am excited for The Undertaker, The Rock. The John Cena looks phenomenal. The, the, the Shawn Michaels looks good. I can't wait to see what the, the rest of them look like with paint on them. I know John Cena is the only one with paint on it right now. But that is all of the WWE action figure news that I have for you guys today. I would love to know all of your thoughts down below. What do you hope we get for the Dolph Ziggler Chase variant and the regular version? What do you hope we get for AJ Styles and his Chase variant? I think that uh, people in the comment section were telling me that Dolph Ziggler wasn't the Chase variant. Or they were telling me that AJ Styles was the Chase variant for 71. So it does turn out that Ziggler is the Elite 70 Chase variant. And I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like we're getting series um, pretty pretty spaced out. So hopefully when Elite Series 69 hits, Elite Series 70 hits really soon. Because you guys know sometimes we'll get like three series in a row. And then we'll get like one series and it'll be like two or three months before we get the next one. So hopefully 69 and 70 roll out back to back so that uh, I can get these Zigglers and Ballers and all this good stuff in. So we can do some fix-ups and action figure surgery and uh, use them in the pick fed and all, all of that good jazz. I would really like an updated Ziggler for the pick fed so that would be nice but thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the video again comment down below of all the figure news here today i would love to know your reactions to it what do you think let me know down in the comment section below subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you